Okay, good evening everyone. This is Spook, and we are live with Telos Principle 2, and we are very near the end. Um, it says here we're at 92% of uh, puzzles solved, which is kind of a lot of them, I think. So, this is looking like we're going to be close to the end uh, of the game. Depending on how jammed up I get uh, actually trying to solve these puzzles, because uh, it's a little difficult. Because like, we have this here, which I only realized what was happening last week. That, that this was affecting something in the other world. And when I say other world, I mean when we go from dystopia here to utopia over here. This now gives us uh, one of these laser emitters. I believe that is one is blue. So that is what actually allowed us to progress on this side of things. Yeah. In fact... Um, we have four on each side, and I don't know how difficult they are, although... Thus far, they've been rather difficult. Mostly because I'm bad. Uh oh. Okay, so. So we've got a copper thing there. Let's see what happens. What can I do with that hole? God, that sounds loose. Uh, anyway, I can at least put the inverter through the hole. And... Okay, we have a blue connector there. That does not help me, but... I can't help but wonder if there's a red... If there's a red beam back in the other side. And when I say other side, I mean back in Dystopia. So I'm going to go back and check, see if there's another way I can trigger this. And advance. Now that I understand how this thing functions, uh, it changes a lot. Okay, so now it's in its... Um, unknown state. Oh. So I don't know if my audio is coming through okay. I'm basically I'm basing everything on what my on what OBS is telling me. So uh, I hope it's working. No. This over here. Oh, that's a gate. Okay, so I can't go through. Complete puzzle here. Okay, now I got through this before. Um, the problem is I do not remember how. It's been a few weeks, you know. Plus we have the holidays in there. And my new work schedule started, so that's really kind of thrown me for a curve. Wait a sec. With that blue emitter there, I can turn the thing over here into a red laser thing, right? So let's uh, let's go have a peek. This, this thingy here because we can get red or blue as needed and uh, it looks like the answer is we need blue no. oh I'm actually going to have to go around okay well Murphy's Law has taken effect unfortunately uh, so 
most of the day, uh, there have been workmen in the apartment just above me, um, extensively remodeling it. And they're at the point of said remodeling where it's basically just hitting stuff with hammers, uh, so far as I can tell. And that's not really great for me, because I'm down here just trying to have a nice, quiet day off of work. Apparently that's just not going to be allowed. You know, why don't you just... So wait, there's a regular connector here that's... Oh, we have to go around. Oh, that's right. I... One of those my fellow Americans, I'm a dipshit moments. But anyway, so this hammering has gone on for kind of, long, kind of a long time, and I'm like, well... It seems to have stopped. That's good. And uh, now it's come down to... Oh, guess what? You decided to... <laughs> I don't know who redeemed that, but I thank you. Of course, that's the sound that the bird cultists make in uh, Slay the Spire. Stiance. Okay, and uh, we got some science. So, the... The chat is not telling me anything, unfortunately. I don't know if anyone is uh, trying to say something in chat, but I'm not seeing any notifications come up. I don't know if this is just OBS being broken. Okay, so I did see that there's a connection over there, but I'm not sure how to make use of it. Wait, I have a silly idea. Oh, hey, Chapter Z. <laughs> okay, so everything just uh, got up to date. Welcome, Chapter Z and Persephone Mayhem. Okay, so... Alright, so we're not going to be able to get back up there until we can get that fan reactivated. I kind of thought maybe I could smuggle the, uh, smuggle a connector in. Oh, that's the wrong button. There we go. Well, let's do some shoutouts before I forget, because I absolutely will. That, there's a teleporter over there, so this is not as complicated as I thought. We just need to stand on this, and we can zoom right over. Oh, that's much easier than I was making it. Okay, and... Right. Okay. So I can go back and... Oops. I can go back and snag this accumulator. In fact, I might even be able to snag that connector. Am I going to have a limb sight from over there? Uh, no. Okay. And we'll teleport over here. Oh, but we need... We need a red laser. So... Try that again. Um, I'm going to need line of sight to a red laser, and that is something I do not have from here. Rot row. No, wait, this, yeah, this just gives me access to getting back in here. 
So let's, um... Is there a way I can see the red emitter from way over there? Preferably without drowning? Okay. Oh, of course. How have you been doing lately? Okay, so it looks like my only way to get line of sight might be from way over there. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, that's not gonna work. screw this up. <laughs> he asks as he screws it up harder. Okay. Um. do a little reset here. Oh. Yeah, that's what a reset does. Silly of me. Okay, so we go into dystopia. this connector so we can get a blue beam over in Utopia. Okay, so it looks like making any significant mistakes is going to be a real problem. Uh, okay, take that inverter. Right, now we need to get a blue beam over there. So we need to make that one produce red. And... Right, and that's producing blue because of what's happening over in Dystopia. Yeah, I, I haven't played much Warframe. I did play Control for a little bit, but I honestly kept getting lost. Um, and I just felt it was uh, less entertaining for people to watch than uh, than even my bumbling in Talos Principle. So I didn't, I didn't really keep at it for long. Okay, so let's have a peek back at Dystopia. Okay, so that's generating that because of that. And then we we made this generator red beam by going to the other side. Um, and using the emitter there. Okay. Yeah, it's it's definitely interesting um, in terms of the story and just the the whole vibe of it. Uh, but man, I was getting horribly lost. Okay, so now that makes a red emitter in Dystopia. So that'll get us in there. And then this accumulator... Hmm. 
Oh, we can charge this accumulator once we get over there. It'll just take a couple steps because first I need to charge it blue. So we'll get it blue, we'll go over here and we'll set up the teleporter. Um, Plonk that down right there. Yeah, oh. You'd think I would remember after making that wrong turn literally multiple times. Okay, whoops. There we go. So now I can teleport back and... Okay, so what do we have here? Oh! We have a connector. That, that's definitely a thing. A driller behind that wall. Oh. Oh, game, you're playing dirty. Yeah, so I, I have a copy of Alan Wake, but I have not been able to get it to run. Like, I planned to run it at one point, but the uh, but it crashed. Like, I was getting ready to go for a stream, and I attempted to run it, and it just crashed right away. I'm like, oh, well, I guess I'm changing what I'm doing in this stream. Oh, hello, this is a different place. Okay. I have no items I can put in there. This looks like some of the uh, the metalwork statues that you see around the campus. Um, like a lot of people do those as final projects, I'm guessing. Oh, we have a grab shifter and... Is that an inverter? Oops. So the presence of an RGB converter is interesting, but it doesn't tell me a whole lot right now. In fact, I'm not seeing any emitters on this side of the puzzle. So maybe I need to have a closer look at Dystopia. So there's one of those things. The question is, is there anywhere I can get a shot over here from so I can actually use that? Oh, there's someone in there. I don't feel I'm getting this accumulator out of here at all.
there's gotta be something. Because my instant. Wait, what was that? Oh, that's just that collector. Um, because my instinct here is there should be something outside of this general area that I should be able to reach um, in order to get um, some kind of beam over here. The problem is nothing from over there is reachable right now. And this part of the puzzle here we have this emitter, but it can't really get anywhere that helps us, that I can see. Because the only place where I can put it where it'll gain access to an outside part of this structure is here. But that doesn't put it at an angle that I can... Oh. There we go. It doesn't really put it at an angle that I can reach it with this... Uh, connector over on this side because it's um, yeah it's just blocked by all that so I am at a loss here And there, oh, that's probably a simul, um, simulacrum or whatever it's called. If I had a... If I had a drill, I could get through there. And yeah, we just have this... This device. And I don't see anything that lets me change what state that thing is in on this side or the other. And that's really kind of making me bang my head into a wall here. That's certainly interesting that that's in there, but the, the activator, I mean. And there's a progress wheel, but what am I meant to do? Yeah, so an inverter and an RGB converter and no red, green, or blue to convert or invert. This... It's a little um, frustrating. I, I have no idea where to start. Is there maybe somewhere I can put that accumulator? I'm going to take another look at the, uh, the accumulator. Oh! Dang it. Okay.
Yeah, there's that connector. Oh, oh no. Oh, frick. Because I can shoot a beam through a, uh, a purple grate. That's not a problem. I just can't see. I really wish I could zoom, because <laughs> I can't see a dang thing. Of course, the the only thing that that would let me do is just set this thing up, and I mean that's that's some kind of progress. It would at least get a laser on the other side of the puzzle, so that would let me do something with the inverter. Uh, the inverter and converter combo that I have over there, I just can't seem to position this in a meaningful way. Because you need to keep it connected to that for one. Dang it. Wait a sec. Oh. Even if I could jump over that, it doesn't matter because the items are back here, so never mind. Oh, and I'm still tagging it anyway. Okay, it was a nice thought, but ultimately it doesn't help the situation. Where the heck? There's that connector. Okay, I gotta admit, they were pretty careful with how they placed that. I don't see any way to make that shot. Um, and I don't see anything way over there. That lets me do what I need to do either. Right, I'm going to try heading back that way. Oh, that's not going to... Okay, that wasn't a reset. Whew. This is more convoluted than a normal puzzle, even. I mean, I get it. It's the, it's the end game. You kind of expect that's going to be the case. But, uh... Jeez, guys. Okay, so I can't get back out um, to grab that connector. Interesting. Um, I kind of hoped. This is all fenced off, right? Yeah.
Okay, it's just a simple question. Is that the only gravity surface here? Yeah, it looks like it is. Okay. Um... Now that we have a different perspective, look at that. And that turns it into a blue emitter on the other side. Okay. Dang it. I cannot believe it took me that long. Okay, back into dystopia. Look at that. Whoops. Wrong button. And stick that through there. Take control of this other me that's over here. And... Oh. Are we in New Jerusalem? There will be volcanoes and asteroids, earthquakes and floods. Slowly, day by day, the moon will drift away, and we will still be here. Okay, so this looks like a puzzle that I need some simulacrum for, but, um... I don't see a way to bring my other self over without a green emitter, which is probably going to require some trickery on the other side. Okay. So what it looks like I'm going to have to do is get the get a green beam to that collector. get a green beam to the, the switchy thing that goes between uh, a laser emitter and a collector. Right. So... To do that is going to require both both the uh, grab shifter and I basically need all three of these items that I'm looking at here. Unless there's... Hold on. Red. Um, oh, okay. So... Wait, I don't have a blue beam on that side. Okay, so I need to change this to emit red. Er... Yeah, hold on thinking. <laughs> Something's cooking. It's my, it's my brain. That, that's why it smells terrible. And... Okay, now, this. Oh wait, I still need the connector that's over here. At least I think it's over here. Okay. So, I have a wild hypothesis. somewhere that'll let me get a colored beam over here. And I'm thinking the answer might be no. Oh, okay. I thought it was clever for a brief moment. I was again disabused of that notion.
Okay, no. I really wish I could smuggle that accumulator out, though. It changed so much right now. Yeah, no copper walls, no way to get the accumulator out, and no way to get a beam from the accumulator over here. I can't help but wonder if I'm just looking at this wrong. sec. Um, so there was an activator in that courtyard way over there. Oh. So what does that activate now that it's on? Exactly nothing. Game, I was briefly clever for a moment, I assure you. If I take this, I can't get back up there. And that prevents me from getting that red beam. So I can't make a green one and shoot it into that. that doesn't reach anything. It just makes me question what it's even there for. Unless there's a... Is there maybe a gravity wall in there that I'm supposed to shift the... No? No, there isn't. side to turn it into an emitter. I mean, there has to be some way to do it, you would think. Okay, so what it looks like it wants 
is for me to get a green beam into that so I can take the simulacrum over here and have it basically hold this up and then I'd be able to jump onto my uh, another copy, you know, another robot and then I'd be able to hit that solution right there. The problem is I'm not seeing any way to turn that into something. Because um, I can't get out of here with this. Short of the... The hole created by that driller. And that driller doesn't open anything up that lets me... Like, there's no copper walls on this side. I mean, I just keep thinking they want me to do something clever with this, but I'm just not seeing it. Um... It's not like I can put the teleporter on the other side of the purple grate. And I can't even get back to the entrance of this puzzle because of this force field and the other force field that's no longer active. There don't seem to be any hidden pieces, you know, because that's not really... That's not really in the style uh, of the puzzles you see in this... in this game. And some foolishness like that happens. This is more obtuse than I uh, than I might have hoped. Okay, I noticed that we have these barred windows here that allow beams to pass through. Oh, hey, Trash King, how you doing? You know, when I added that sound effect, you're the person I was thinking of. <laughs> uh, I am really liking it. Uh, this last set of puzzles is kind of hurting my head. Unless that over there is actually a an emitter. But I think that's just... I think that's actually just the glow from the progress wheel. Yeah, I that's not something I can make use of. Oh, and that's just a force field, so that doesn't actually help me. Um So have you played through this? You know, I figured you'd be uh you'd be all over it on day one. Uh, totally understandable. I'm getting to the point where I might use my uh, upcoming break to have a little peek at a YouTube video because I am, I am perplexed. Because I got this part kind of working. Um, and this, I, I get, I got this activator going, but it doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's not close enough something to be, to something to be useful. So I'm. 
And I just kind of feel like I'm beating my head into a wall at this point. Okay, cool. Because, I mean, it took me way too long to figure out that this was a thing with an emitter there. And now... Now I'm just stumped as to what I'm going to bring over here to get this out. Um, because I'm fairly sure I'm going to need the grav shifter to make those beams work in some kind of meaningful manner. Because basically if I can get green to hit this, everything's fine on the other side. Well, I'm using everything loosely, but... Yeah, I can't even begin to hit that. And this doesn't do anything. <laughs> that just bothers me. Like, seriously. Why is that out of the range of everything? And there's no way for me to do anything with the grav shifter in that space to maybe move that activator. Oh, and I can't, I can't bring that down. It's only going to go up. Yeah. Wait a sec. Are you serious? Okay, well that puts a red beam on the other side, which still doesn't help, but that's at least interesting. So now, okay, well... Shit, that changes the game. Okay. Let's just take the converter up now. So now we have red and blue. There we go. As they would say in... Science. There we go. Okay, so... Hey, look at that. We've got a green emitter. And presumably I still have a connector here. I'm guessing I didn't shove it into some orifice somewhere. Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. Whew. I frequently worry that I've done something foolish because there's a good chance I've done exactly that. Okay, now we just need to find a position where we hit both of these. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now other me can come to play. I, I gotta say, and uh, I, I know I've said this before, but this is this is specifically to Trash King. Uh, the the simulacrums uh, in place of the recorders are probably my single favorite improvement. Because, man, recorder puzzles were tedious, and I'm glad they're gone. Okay, swap bodies. Hop, hop. Oops. Alright, so I'll go ahead and solve this puzzle, and then we'll... Uh, go ahead and take a short break. 
God, I'm glad I didn't have to wind up looking that up. Game, please. Thank you. And... Ten million years until every species has gone extinct or been replaced. A hundred million until the rings of Saturn fall from the sky. Five hundred million until the sun starts getting brighter and everything on Earth starts dying. My, you're cheerful. So... This might be a hypothetical, but... Can I now have two of me in the uh, in the other place? Because I would like having another, another me around. <laughs> okay, I know this is intentional, but I feel like I'm breaking the rules when I do this. Oh, this is probably going to be part of the solution. Yeah, time shifting was horrible. Uh, my least favorite part of that game, unfortunately. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take a short break. The intermission will be accompanied by three minutes of ads in order to prevent pre-rolls. Please stand by.